Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley and today I am talking to you guys about our The Good and the Beautiful First Impressions. We just started it a little over one month ago and so today I want to share with you um, how it's going so far. So yes, um, this video is just going to be basically like my first impressions like we've started something completely new how is it working um moving forward i will do the quarterly updates that i have done for you guys in the past you guys always seem to really enjoy those so please give this video a thumbs up if you do want to hear those quarter updates um quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four as kind of like our homeschool year in summary. Um, but since we did just make a really big curriculum switch to the good and the beautiful, I wanted to give you guys kind of like my first impressions now that we're in it and, um, and kind of tell you some of the things that we're loving and just kind of some of the things that I've noticed so far. Um, and so that's what this video is going to be about. I do have notes down here to the right of my camera. So if you see my eyes going like this, that's what I'm looking at. Um, so, uh, I do have a few little, um, pieces of their language arts because I just wanted to show you guys some things. Um, but the first thing I want to mention, um, which I did a, another video on this, um, kind of my, um, take on the religious side of the curriculum. And I don't plan to rehash that all again. Um, but I want to let you guys know that we're in it, we're using it, and I still continue to be happy in that area. Um, so I just want to say that first. Um, the second thing that I am really, I have like, I'm not going to number these because you guys know I always lose count of my numbers. But the next thing I want to mention is the poetry memorization that goes along with this curriculum is amazing. Like I literally am so excited about that. Um, I was kind of like, oh, memorization, but that really is such an important life skill. Um, and I loved how the curriculum said like to let the kids choose the poems they wanna memorize. I was so surprised because a few of my kids chose like really long ones. And I don't know about you guys, but if I have to memorize something, I probably would go for the shorter version versus the longer. And so I was really surprised by that. Um, but they have been loving that. And I um, love that it gave like the five to seven minute time frame for that memorization. And I, at first I thought, wow, that's gonna take quite some time. Uh, but I was really blown away. My son, uh, I think is a kind of a rare exception because my daughter who is older than him, it thinks like, that's not fair. He memorizes things so fast. He's just really good at that. Um, but either way, he looked at a poem two times. I shared this on my Instagram. Um, so if you want to go watch it, you'll be able to tell what it is. It's a video and I don't put many videos on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he memorized it in two days and I was just like, wow. And he, like, I could tell he loved the confidence boost that that gave him. So I think it's really awesome. And I'm loving the poetry memorization. Um, the next thing I wanted to touch on is that when I was talking about how I was going to create my schedule for year round school, I'll link it if you didn't watch it or you want to, I had quite a few of you guys who had already been using the good and the beautiful let me know that um, it's not always one lesson per day. And I did know that, but I figured, you know, we would base it off of one lesson per day and then it would stretch longer, which would be fine. Um, but I wanted to give you guys feedback on that because um, my older kids have been fine with getting through a, one lesson per day so far. Um, my younger ones though, uh, I've just been using my mom judgment and I can kind of tell when they've had like information overload or when they're learning something new and they're trying to grasp it. I don't want to keep like, and then, and then, and then, you know what I mean? So I, I have broken a few lessons down into multiple days for them, but I've seen it more with my younger ones than my older kids so far. So I wanted to touch on that. Another thing I am loving, 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 I cannot emphasize enough how much I am loving is the, um, the, um, 
the geography. <laughs> Sorry, I I saw a text come through on my phone and it threw me off. Um, is the geography portion the map work? and tracing maps and learning continents and countries for the younger ones and state capital ladders for the older ones. I am overjoyed with the, um, with the um, geography portion. I love that it's woven in to the language arts. Two for one, love it so much. Um, in total, um, our school days now using primarily the good and the beautiful curriculum are taking us about four hours and I've got four kids um, so four hours is a pretty solid amount of time but the difference is you guys is I feel like and I wrote this down too it feels so thorough you know what I mean like there's a difference between things taking forever and then feeling like oh we didn't really learn that much or or whatever but this is like this is four hours but I feel like we are covering all the bases so thoroughly um, and that makes me happy because last year's language arts I wasn't completely loving um, and this this one is like exactly what I wanted so I'm really happy about that um, I would say that my kids and this is just specific to my house but I wanted to share it with you guys um, my kids are all being challenged with their language arts, but it's the right level. You know what I'm saying? They're not getting frustrated, but they're all learning new stuff uh, or reviewing things that they have long forgotten or doing things more in depth. All of them. My first grader all the way up to my sixth grader. Um, we've been doing our language arts a month now, doing uh, you know our lessons four days a week, and they have all been challenged in some way already. So I like that. Um, not so much so as there's been tears and all that. It hasn't been that way, but they've just had to really think and work hard, and um, and I really like that. Um, the I touched on this in another video and I'm not sure if it's going to go up before or after this one, but it's the schedule flow that is working well for us. Um, I am so glad that I scheduled language arts in opposition. All of my kids do not do language arts at the same time because I knew it was going to require more one-on-one -on -one work with me. And um, even though the older kids, it's a self-guided course. Um, they still need me to do sentence dictation and spelling and um, kind of re-explain some things sometimes. So that is working really well. So if you're a mom who's got a few kids using it, I would really recommend that you don't put everybody on language arts at the same time. Um, and then the last thing I want to touch on before I show you some of their favorite little things from their uh, curriculum so far is that the biggest most favorite thing that my kids have said and my kids have all said that language arts is their favorite part of our homeschool now um and that is just like so surprising and so shocking but the the reason why is because every day is different and there are pieces that are the same so that they're working on those um uh, memory things and spelling things those pieces are the same but their lesson each day is different and I just can't say enough good things about that um, my kids have all loved that uh, one time my daughter got on her language arts and it was like doing something with art and she she thought she was doing something wrong she was like mom this says I'm supposed to use pastels and I said, yep, that's what your lesson is today. And she was just like, this is so awesome. So um, I love the way they do it. Uh, so I wanted to uh, share that with you guys. Now, um, this is level one, but I just wanted to show you some of the really fun things in here. So this is the Silent E Ocean Path. And I really, um, my daughter really loves like doing these. She thinks it's so fun to try to get to the end. There was another one in here that was, um, what were those words? Oh, uh, uh, endings. And she loved this one too, the zoo path. So I just think that those are really fun and really sweet. Um, another thing that she really loved, again, this is for level one, was this highlighting exercise where they look at the this um, picture of art and then highlight. She thought she was so cool because she was using a highlighter. So those have been some of the favorite things that she's been doing so far. And then also reading the mini books. 
that go with her lesson. Um, she read this one three times in one week. And this um, book definitely was a, a little bit of a challenge for her, but she did it and, um, and she really liked that it was about dogs. And so these little mini books are really fun. Um, and then here I have my history course still with my teacher pencil where I had it. Um, but this is again, history year one. And uh, we are on lesson eight um, so far. So obviously not very far into the course. This is just my first impression video for you guys. Um, but I just wanna say the history has been awesome so far. My kids love those student explorers because they get to do an activity right after the lesson. They love doing that. And the other thing that my kids really love about this history course is the audio recordings. It's like characters narrating a story about whatever um, portion you're studying. So we just were listening to something about ancient Egypt and like they imagine it and they're quiet and they listen and maybe they're coloring. Um, and they've just really been loving history this year. Um, and I've been loving the, this, uh, guidebook and it tells you exactly what you need to do and it's just been awesome. So I wanted to share with you guys so far my first impressions of all of our um, curriculum from the good and the beautiful. I give it two giant thumbs up so far. And, um, you know, in the future, I'm sure there will be things that I will stumble upon that, you know, maybe this lesson was really hard for my kid or whatever, but I will be sure to share all of those things with you. The good, the beautiful pun intended <laughs> and the ugly, the, the other side, um, that I will let you guys know in my quarter updates. So don't be expecting monthly, um, updates like this. It'll be quarterly moving forward. Um, so please give this video a thumbs up if you like that plan and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.